hope you're all enjoying camp. We've got a massive treat for you now. So get your pens, pencils, crowns, whatever ready. Liz, over to you. Thank you very much, Phil. Hi, guys. It's the Beavers Drawing Workshop. I have met most of you before. And if you're thinking, oh, brilliant, we're going to do some drawing, that's great. If you're thinking, oh, no, it's that crazy woman again. She got us drawing. It's fine as well. Now, I am really, really flattered that you have asked me back to be a part of your camp. Now, I love the circus. In fact, I've never been to the circus. It's on my bucket list. I really want to go, but I fell in love with the circus when I watched Dumbo and I was probably about four or five and I remember crying because Disney films were sad in those days. <laughs> but Dumbo was a gorgeous elephant. I have an elephant mask here that I was actually gonna put on my head but it's really heavy and it messes my hair up look and you know what when I first bought this I forgot about it look it's really weird isn't it and um I put my bag on the floor and the big trunk just like popped out like that I went oh I jumped out of my skin so we're gonna be looking at circus today now circuses have changed an awful lot over the years because in the olden days there was a lot of cruelty the animals were sort of mistreated and things like that we don't want to get into that we want to have a nice light bright workshop don't we? So we're not going to draw sad elephants like, oh. uh, we're going to be looking at lots of gymnastic characters. We're going to be looking at clowns, but not killer clowns from Halloween. Some people hate clowns. I think they're all right. They're quite funny. Um, and we're also going to look at little animals as well. Now, I think I got you drawing a tiger once before, so we might do a lion maybe jumping out of a hoop or sitting on one of those zigzaggy block things. So that's what we're going to do. Now, if you haven't seen me before, you're probably thinking, who is this woman my name is Liz and I draw children's books now I've got all these books here you've seen these before we've got Digger the Dinosaur Little Fred Riding Hood Not So Silly Sausage Noisy Neighbours all pretty much animals doing crazy things Elephant Rides Again there's a crocodile in the house. And this crocodile book actually has got all sorts of um, animals in. And we've got Space Cafe here. And Space Cafe has all sorts of gorgeous pictures in. Um, there's quite a nice little tiger there as well. So I'm always drawing animals, always drawing cartoony characters. And that's what we're going to do today. Now, as Phil said, how have you got your pencil? You don't need a lot of colours because you probably do more colouring in later on. And how have you got your paper? Now, you don't need fancy sketchbooks. You just need a bit of paper. So you might just go and pinch some paper from your grown up's printer or you might have some lying around. Now, the things I've been drawing lately, we might might be doing a big cat later on but look this is my tiger and I had to draw it playing an electric guitar so if I can draw that you can draw our characters today so I think it's quite a tricky thing to draw now I have my page we're gonna start off easy easy peasy okay so what we're going to draw we're gonna start with a clown now i don't think i've ever drawn a clown with this shape okay so try and draw that now this is my taco or doorway i'm just drawing it on here like that so we are doing a doorway to start with it's also a bit like a lolly and a lolly stick <laughs> okay now we are going to draw a line across there like that so this is going to be his clothes we don't want a naked clown we want one with clothes on so we're going to do a big bow tie and you could draw some spots on like this so there we go we've got our bow tie now while you're finishing that off i'm just going to put a bit of color in between okay so i'm guessing when you are going to be ready to move on because I can't see you, my darlings. And um, there we go. So this is also a bit like Humpty Dumpty. Who would have thought a nursery rhyme about an egg would have lasted this long? <laughs> I don't understand it. Now, we're going to draw a big schnozzy nose. I've got my red. Now, clowns have got a bad press over the years, haven't they, with uh, horror films and events. <laughs> I think they're quite cute. Now, I'm going to show you how to do a little sort of cute chubby clown. So we have got eyes. 
like that. Now don't colour that bit in at the top, colour around it. Now these are cute eyes that I normally do for um, cute animals like little rabbits or chicks, but I think we want our clown to be as cute as possible. Okay, now this could be um, a penguin. I do good penguins like this. We're gonna do some little eyebrows, which look a bit like slugs. And I'm gonna do some little lines around the eyes like that. Okay, so I will let you catch up. <laughs> Got a little squeaky nose there. Now, I'm going to put a smiley mouth on and I'm going to put a line around there. Now, if you prefer to draw a sausage and then put the line on, you can do that. It's like some weird tortoise, doesn't it? Now, I do have the hair of a clown. I didn't want to pop up on your screen because some people hate clowns. Now, I'm going to take my headband off and show you how ridiculous I look. Right, now, actually, I look quite cute. I know, what can I say? I have suit wigs and hats, so there we go. So I have got hair at the side of my head. And is he gonna have an ear? Does he need ears? Yeah, we'll put some little ears on. Now, remember, I've never drawn this before, so I am drawing along with you. Uh, instead of red, because we've got a lot of red here, I'm gonna get a lovely green and put some curly hair on. If you want to do this in pencil, or if you want to grab a colour, then you can. So we've got a very, very mixed bunch of colours. We've got bright colours as well. I'm going to put some little lines up here to make him look a bit older. And I might give him some little rosy cheeks. You can do girl clowns, but I think boy clowns are much more fun because they've got big baldy heads. Okay, so there we go. Now we want him to be looking like he's maybe running with a bucket. You can't really have a circus without clowns. Now, I know clowns have got normally big billowing trousers, but we're going to have a go at doing a different one. There we go. I'm going to have a go at doing another foot here. Now it really doesn't matter if you have got one foot bigger than the other, okay? I do that all the time. Even when I was little, I would draw a Roman soldier and then I would do a good Roman soldier, then I'd do a rubbish one. So look, this is what us illustrators do. If we wanted the same leg again, like that, I would pop it there like that, or I would trace it. You can see here, can't you? You can see through there, okay? So I would trace it like that, and that is a top tip for you. Now, I'm gonna put some sort of sawdust or sand underneath, because normally the ring is made of sawdust, probably to clear up all the elephant and the horse poos. <laughs> nice! And he's gonna be walking along. So he has got action lines, okay? Now, he's gonna be holding a bucket, Actually, he could be waving, couldn't he? So what we're going to do, we're going to draw some gloves on. So we've got a little arm and the top of his glove. And we're going to do another arm and the top of his glove. Now this is going to get a little bit tricky. I'm going to go across here. I think we need to put his trousers on here. Okay. Now, when I said I was going to start off easy, I should maybe have started off with something easier than this. But hey, do you know what? You don't know. You can you have a go. And I've sent loads of sheets to Bill, so you can have loads of uh, sort of practice if you like working on your own. Now, I'm going to put his little hand up here. And you can see I can do three or four. It's up to you. Now, Simpsons, they always have three fingers and a thumb, and I think it's quite nice. Now, down here, we want him to be holding his bucket. So just draw a hand with a bucket like that. And it always has, like, water in it, or it might have confetti or something like that. Now, I haven't done a circus theme probably about four years 
Okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to put a little bit of colour on. You can do this later on. I might do some blue braces as well to keep his little trousers up. Okay, so he's looking quite cute, isn't he? I put a bit of yellow in his hair as well. You could make him bow hair, do whatever you want. And I might do a very nice sort of striking yellow top. So he's very, very colourful. And this is exactly the sort of clown we want. Okay, now if we change his face and we wanted to turn him into an evil clown, which I know some of you will make him into an evil clown. <laughs> if he was excited, he could be like that. So you have different types of eyes. If you wanted to draw a little friend for him, you could do that. And you can also draw a little hat on. I think that's what he needs. I was thinking we've missed something here. I'm just gonna draw a skinny chip on his head. And you can give him a top hat, but I think I like to give them bowler hats. And bowler hats are always good fun with a character because bowler hats are sort of like Victorian um, fun things. Okay, so there we go. We have got his bucket. You would also think about his action lines. You would think about the audience in the background. Now, if I was doing a book, I would have to draw every single face on here, all the way around. Loads of people going, ooh, ee, ah. But what I'm gonna do is just draw loads of potatoes, sausages, beans, people laughing. And you might have a little old lady asleep. <laughs> so you can spend a long time doing lots of different faces. You might do a little baby crying. You might do some kids. And you would spend the whole of our session doing all that, but we're not. We're doing it really quickly. So we've got a little clown. If you want to open his mouth to make it look like he's saying something. You could have a speech bubble here with welcome to the circus or something like that. There we go. That was our clown. Okay, so how did you do with that? Don't worry if you're still on his hair. <laughs> Lots of illustrators take their time. Okay, so I'm quite pleased with that. I would put a little frame around my picture like this. And I always put my name on it. It's nice to keep your work when you are older. Okay, you don't need to see that, that's just my name. Okay, so there was our clown. Was that okay? Yeah, was it easy, hard, or okay? I think accidentally I've drawn that quite hard for you, but do you know what? I reckon you've done really well because of our other sessions, you did really, really well. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, okay, we're going to draw our picture and we're going to do another person this time i want you to draw a potato like that now we're going to have some arms and hands coming down here so draw your potato down the bottom okay <coughs> okay is <coughs> this wig is really dusty, it's making me feel a bit sick. Now, curly cut nose, smiley mouth, eyes looking up, and we're going to do a girl gymnast, because the circus nowadays has got fantastically talented uh, artists like gymnastics, dancers, people who ride around on horses. If you wanted to draw a horse later on with a girl on its back on a doing a big show, that would be up to you. Now I'm going to put some sorts of bows on here, just really sort of simple bows. Now we could do like a clown girl or it could be like a gymnast. So I'm putting a bit of colour on her hair okay now boys if you would prefer not to do a girl because i know some of you really don't like drawing girls <laughs> you could do a boy but you know what if you wanted to be an illustrator you have to get used to drawing all different children 
all different people, all different ages. And it's really important to not worry about what you're drawing so much. Okay, it's all right for boys to like unicorns and mermaids and stuff. There's no rules. You can just like what you like. Okay, so I've got a bit of hair on here. You could just colour that in later on if you like. Now, the weird thing is, what we're going to do, we're going to draw an arm coming off her head and an arm coming off her head. Now, this looks really weird, but what we want, we want it to look like she's doing a handstand, so her body is going to go up here. Now, we are drawing quite tricky things today because I think the circle, theme to do it's like if I wanted to draw an elephant that's hard if I wanted to do a girl on a horse or a man on a horse it's hard so I've got a hand down there I'm going to move my board down a little bit there you go you can see that and this could be you in the playground <laughs> I'm just going to put some stripes on or some checks so she could actually be on the back of a horse that's galloping around. She could be a cowgirl, actually, couldn't she? That would be a good idea, like um, rides around. Not on cows, on horses. <laughs> now, if you're not sure about this, you could do it with your pencil. So I am really not sure about this. So I'm going to do a back with a skirt like that. Okay. If you want to just do a body like that and you can have your legs coming off okay <laughs> this is a really weird thing to draw what we're going to do is move my board up and we're going to draw one leg coming around here and you can do one leg up here now this is how i also do um like break dancers so if i'm doing like a panda in a break dance battle this is what I use. So if her body is this way, we're going to draw the back of one of her shoes. Do some wiggly like grips like that. She might have socks on. And the other foot, we're going to give her some trainers. Now you could put little like baseball shoes on. You could put colourful shoes on, it's fine. Now she might have odd socks on if she is a clown so I might do a bit of a red one there and a green like that now you could do whatever color you like on here I think I'm gonna mix it up so I've got greeny blue it looks like a tutu doesn't it but it could be absolutely anything and the thing is about a circus it's all about bright colors noise atmosphere all the things we're lacking in <laughs> in lockdown but I would love to go to a proper circus there we go. I think I went to go to one once and I wasn't very well and I had to give my ticket to someone sounds about right <laughs> and then this is going to be the sort of shirt that she's wearing so she could have a checky shirt now if you've got loads of time you could always colour it like a check like every other one do you know what i mean like that nobody's got time for that today so we're not going to now she could have fun glasses on she could have things in her hair she might have a mouth open so she's really enjoying herself okay now you could draw a horse or a ball whatever you like so she's doing a handstand she might be on top of uh you know those sorts of things that you get in the circus, those sorts of stands that you get lions and tigers on. Or she could be on a ball, like a big beach ball with stars on or something like that. So if you have got room underneath there, you can put that on. Now I'm gonna show you how to do up at the top here. Look, can you see? I'm gonna move my board. I'm gonna do a little light like that. Okay, so that doesn't look like anything really. But what you can do is with your crayon you could do some gorgeous lights coming down so I've just done a sort of like I don't know like a square and it just adds to the atmosphere of your sort of sunshiny picture 
Okay, so I'm just doing that really lightly. Da, 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 da. If there's music playing. Ooh, these are music notes. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. You don't need all this, but this is adding to our excitement. Da, da. And again, if you wanted to do she could be on like a big long tightrope, couldn't she? You could also do lots of those little weird people, little baked beans. Oh no, look at her. Ooh, eee, ah. <laughs> look, oh my goodness, she's gonna fall. Okay, so we've got a bit of drama there. And I think I'm gonna put some freckles on her. Do you know what? I think she looks like Jessie from Toy Story by accident, but there we go. She could have a little hat actually, couldn't she? So if you wanted to put a little hat on her or in her hand, she might have taken her hat off. Now I'm gonna move my board down there. So I'm gonna just put her little hat there. So she's going, yee-haw! I can't believe I've still got these on my head. And there we go. Okay, now that, was super hard as well. So I think the next thing we're gonna do has to be an animal. I love drawing animals, they're so much easier. Now, in a circus, okay, don't draw this. If I was drawing an elephant, I would draw an elephant like this, da, 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 very quickly. And I would draw his little legs all gathered, like on a little ball. <laughs> like that. That is hard to draw. I would also draw a carrot or a chicken nugget. And I would do arf, 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 a seal. Sea lions, aren't they? Arf. And sea lions have loads of things balancing on each end. Whoa, no one's fallen off. <laughs> so there are lots of dead good animals. Also, you could do a little poodle, couldn't you? With a little shape like that. I think we've done a sausage dog before. And this little poodle. Hello, poodle. You normally get like little fancy poodles that do stuff on bikes. <laughs> there we go. Now you guys aren't drawing that, don't worry. Okay, our new bit of paper. I think we're gonna just do, uh, let's have a look. Well, do you know what? I think we're gonna go this way. And we're going to go square instead of potato. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to draw your um, piece of toast on this side, like that. I think I might start wearing my eyebrows up there. <laughs> Very fancy. So look, I'm going to do my potato like that. I'm just working out if I've got enough space. Yes, I think I have. I would normally work this way, but it's fine. So we're going to do our lion. Now I love lions and I love tigers, but I think we've already drawn a tiger before with a potato. So we've done our ears and we're going to do a nose. Okay, so that nose is like a V. And you're going to come across the top there like that. Now, are we going to do a nice lion or a nasty one? I think we might have to do a scary looking one. So it looks like he's going Rawr. Now we could draw him like this, just sitting on his little plinth, waiting for his turn. Like that. <laughs> that would be really easy. We know, because we've just done some tricky ones, we can do better than that. We're going to have him going through a burning flaming hoop. Yes, you heard correctly. Now, I do like lions. I'm just thinking that tigers, tigers are so much more colourful, aren't they? Now, I'm going to give you the choice. If you would prefer to do like a lion, because they are really, really sort of used, aren't they, in um, circuses. So are tigers. So if you want to do a lion, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you want to do a tiger, I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, at the moment, it looks like it's going, ah! And if he was really like excited to be jumping through the hoop, he's like, yeah, baby. If he's like that, oh no, I don't like fire. I'm gonna be sick. That looks like he's really nervous, doesn't he? 
Now have a little look. If my character was singing or flipping, he would be like that. If he was petrified, he'd be like, I want my mummy. <laughs> That'd be me if I had to jump through fire. Now, grrr, snarly evil eyebrows. Now you've probably seen me draw those before on piranhas, sharks, big bad wolves, snakes, all sorts. Now, if you want to do a lion, you're going to put your mane all the way around here, here and there. Okay, I think I'm going to do a tiger just because I love orange. There we go. So if you want to do a tiger, put that little mane around there and you're going to draw some stripes. Now, I advise you with your stripes to just do the triangles and then colour it in later on. So there we go. So that is our tiger and that is our lion. So you're going to put both things and both there and maybe a little bit underneath. Okay. So while you're doing that, I'm going to put a bit of colour on. Okay. <gasps> Picked up the wrong colour there. Well, actually, that's quite a nice colour for a tiger. So it's like an orangey red colour. And uh, this goes quite nicely with the fire element of our poster. Okay, and these are posters. You could easily make these into come to the circus poster. And because I've got that darker red there, I would then sort of even it out a bit to make it look like I didn't pick it up by accident. And I can also put a bit of red in there. And you could also put da, 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 like that. So if you want to do a girl tiger, just put eyelashes on. It's up to you. Now, the thing is, we need to know where the ring is going to go. So around this body, very lightly, you're going to do um, a sort of curly cut, very lightly with your pencil, because what we want to do is draw a body. OK, so I'm just doing this really lightly. But I've done it with pen to show you. So we're going to have flames coming up here, but we need to know where his paws are going to go. OK, so I've again just done three toes, put claws on. Now the bodies are pretty much the same. If you wanted to do uh, a lion, really quickly like that. OK, if you want to do a tiger, put your little stripes on. Now I'm going quite fast because I know you could easily do this later on without me. Okay, so we've got that there. I'm also going to put his back leg on. Now I can't really fit his back leg on here. So I'm just going to do two together. Now if you have room, you can do two legs like this look at the back. Okay, so I can't really do that. You could do legs like that or there, wherever you like, love. And because I can't fit it on, I'm going to make my tail go up. OK, so you can put stripes on the legs, colour all these in. You would also put stripes on here. OK, now if this is too hard, I apologise. But some of you beavers love a challenge. And even if you haven't done it 100%, correctly it doesn't matter it's if you've enjoyed doing it you don't have to be good at doing something you just have to enjoy it okay so haven't finished yet this is going to be our fire now you might want to do this with your crayon and all you do is keep moving your arm like this, do wiggles of fire. Got my red, then I've got my orange. You can do this with pastels. Make sure you go right over his body as well. Oh, how frightening. And down here, you need to have like a stand or something. So you could just do like a stand, like you would get a little budgie on or something. <laughs> And then it's all about action lines. So he's zooming through there. He might also have a sound effect like roar. Now have a look. 
if you are in a reception class, you probably don't know what those lines and dots are. Okay, now some of you will already know. That is what we put behind a word, especially one with big letters, to make it sound loud. So it's being sounded out loudly. So I've got my big speech bubble. I've got my ground here. You could have done a strong man. You could have done uh, the ringmaster. You could have done the bearded lady. You could have done all sorts of characters, okay? So here's our tiger. He's saying raw. We know he is raw, ferocious in the background. If you want to very lightly do your crowd scene going, oh no, it can't be done. Wow. Might have someone with a camera or a phone going, wow. Everyone has phones and things now, don't they? But there we have our character. Okay, so a lot of sand here. You could draw a little dog down here going, oh, a poodle, can't believe his eyes. You could also put some shadow as well. Because if this was light up here, there would be a shadow down there. Now, I bet when you came to camp today, you didn't think you were going to be drawing a scary tiger or not that one a gymnastic dancing girl acrobat or our little clown okay so we've done potatoes we've done pieces of toast squares and we've done a doorway shape okay girls and boys how did you do did you think that was the hardest because it was the first one and your brain wasn't warmed up or did you think it was the gymnastic girl that was quite tricky or did you think it was the tiger at the end i think the best one i've done today is the tiger and that's because i draw tigers all the time uh, when i draw people i always draw them as um different characters so i do quite enjoy that one but sometimes my characters aren't as good as they're not animals i love animals okay so you could always do a little beaver version couldn't you do a little beaver with little brown ears <laughs> like that that's weird okay girls and boys i hope you have enjoyed your little session today thank you so much to phil for inviting me along i've had a wonderful time drawing with you today i'm going to take my wig in fact i think i'm going to go and do a food shop with my lovely wig on, see how many looks I get. Okay, guys, have a lovely circusy weekend and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.